the gape, or in layman's terms, a really big hole, was first created around February of 2014. The creators Victor98 and Saito began digging a hole to bedrock. Some players that helped them were Lemonfoot, Mars Argo, James Russells, Little Chuckster, FTSQR, and 2B2T. They decided to name this gape Cytoscape and started to dig the hole with some chests as storage. As more players joined, a three-story castle themed fort was built around X1000, Y-1000 that held the players and their items. The gape had a lot of supplies that included crop and animal farms. They also created a skywalk in the middle called the Virtual Plaza and used it to look down on the progress of the gape. Everything seemed to be going fine, but in true 2B2T fashion, a mix of betrayal, attacks, and lava casts ended the project quickly. The gape lay dormant for many months. One day, James Russells was at a base called the 700 base and decided to explore. Upon approach to the gape, a player's name appeared on his radar. He approached with caution, as his current base was mere seconds away. Here he met the self-named player 2B2T, who explained to James that he had been working on restoring the base. Before long, there were around 14 players at the gape. The players were Coconut 4, James Russells, Victor96, 2B2T, Luizi, Ian5281, Khaleesi, Lil Chuckster, Alan Nistam, Lemonfoot, Cupcakeist, Arizona Admin, Wormfood5281, NF2SQR. Everything went smoothly until the server started to rubber band badly. Almost every 10 seconds, you will be thrown back 20 blocks if you were moving. This went on for days, and the team thought they possibly were the ones who created this lag. A month passes, and the housemaster, who is one of the owners of 2B2C, still couldn't fix this lag. Because of this, the gate project collapses, and players started to leave. Housemaster eventually gets the server to work again, but the damage was done. The base ended up being lava casted, filling most of the hole with cobble. This did not stop them though, as they picked up their belongings and moved on, far from spawn. This is where they set out to create a bigger and better gape, the sequel that is known as Gape 2.0. The Gape 2.0, also known as Silesi's Gape, began after Gape 1.0 was lava casted. New terrain was scoped out, far away from spawn. This gate was marked out around 128 by 128 meters, which later was extended to 254 by 254 meters. It was estimated that they had around 1,400,000 blocks to dig out. With a lot of time and effort, they managed to dig out most of the blocks. After a couple of months, gate 2.0 turned into a sufficient base with a pig farm, rail duplicator, villager farms, and horse breeding center all created. They also had a living space called the Bunker that would have an automated item sorter, storage room, mining area, and brewing room. They also started to work on a temple called the Temple of Light, but it never got finished. The base had almost everything, which made the players get bored. As time went by, the interest in staying at the gate started to decline. An invite came to some of the players at Gate 2.0 about a new upcoming base featuring many old well-known players. This new base was called the Fenrir. This base had a total of 36 players and was comprised of many well-known names such as Victor96, Luizi, Scaviar, Pyrobite, Coldwave, Khaleesi, Kino, and the founder, Sato86. This led to the Gabe 2.0 to be left unsupervised, leading to the destruction of the Gabe 2.0, but the memories of both of the Gabes will always be remembered. Thank you guys for watching, I would like to thank Sato86, XCC2 and James Russells for their information to make this video possible. I will leave a link to their channels in the description. Leave a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. Anyway guys, stay fast and see you guys next time.